Hi everybody, I'm Ty Slim. I hope everybody's having an awesome day. I know I am. It is the first day of Supercross, and you know what we do when Supercross happens? We cook a delicious meal. Today we're gonna do a super crispy fried chicken sandwich inspired by Kent Rollins, cowboy Kent Rollins to be exact. And I'm gonna show you how I do it, my swing of things, and you can do it however you want, but uh, follow along with me. Let's get to it. Okay, first step. Let's start out with the chicken, your protein. I'm starting out with thinly sliced chicken breasts. If you don't have thinly sliced chicken breast, you can get two like medium sized chicken breasts and then you can pound them out. You know, go to your garage, get your hammer, get your meat cleaver, meat pounder, pound out the meat into a thinly sliced breast. Um, I mean, mine are pretty thin, so if I pounded them out, there wouldn't be anything left. So that's what I'm gonna do for my chicken first. And then we're gonna get these things marinating. And to marinate them, boom, we're gonna use buttermilk and pickle juice. So we're gonna get our bowl and we're gonna use about two cups buttermilk. Throw that in our bowl. Oh, she is sick, huh? All right. And now we are gonna use one cup pickle juice. Again, put that in our bowl and just give a little bit of a, a whisker like that. You gotta have the whisking tools. You, you can use a fork or, or whatever you want, really. Just give a little whisk. And then what we're gonna do, just throw your chicken breast right in your marinade. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna let these go in the oven here. Excuse me, not the oven. We're gonna put them in the refrigerator for about, oh, three to four hours um, just to get them nice and marinated and to let all that salt and that vinegar flavor just get into that chicken breast. All right, we're about ready for our next step and I'm gonna transfer these into the cold storage here. Okay, everybody, now we're ready for our next step. Next step is gonna be the breading. We're gonna use a few ingredients to get that crust real, real crispy. It's gonna be awesome. I mean, that is what you want for a crispy chicken sandwich. And this is gonna provide everything we need. Okay, we're gonna start out with about two and a half cups of flour. I like to use a flat baking pan because it's easier to then dip the chicken in and get it coated both sides. So about two and a half cups of flour, then we're gonna use a half cup of cornstarch. Throw that in there. Then we are going to back it up with two teaspoons of baking powder in there, just like that. All right. Now we're gonna add, oh, just a little bit of salt. You know, these aren't really exact measurements or anything because this is cooking. There's no rules in cooking. Baking, I'm not a baker, too many rules. I have trouble following the rules. So that's where you can kind of deviate what you want to do. All right, we're going to use a little bit of garlic powder, a little shot like that. Then we're going to use about the same amount of onion powder and a little spice with some paprika. You know, don't go too crazy, just a little bit. And then freshly ground pepper. If I can get the cap off here, here we go. Whoa! Let's drop her, but do a little grind up in there. That's good there. And then a little in secret ingredient inspired by the recipe. Um, we are gonna do about a tablespoon of powdered sugar. And that's gonna give it that final crunch and let all those ingredients really stick and bind to that meat. So that's pretty much all of the all the stuff for that and then just take yourself a fork and kind of whisk that all together because this is going to be your crispy crust here for that chicken sandwich that i'm excited okay now we're going to make our egg wash mixture from when we dredge our chicken very very simple we're going to start with two eggs throw those in there give them a crack give them a toss throw it in, crack, toss. Okay, and now we're gonna do about a cup 
of buttermilk. So throw out your measuring glass there. Pour in it, you know, a little bit higher, get you a little better results here. So we got a cup there. Throw that in there. In our kind of shallow pan, because that's going to be nice to let the chicken breast just lay nice and flat in there. And then we're going to have a couple more teaspoons of baking powder here. So, and then pick up a cool tool here, break the yolks, and just Whisk it all together. And that's as simple as that, folks. Okay, ladies and germs, it's time to make the sauce for this chicken sandwich. We're gonna start out with, oh, about two tablespoons of just regular mayo. Um, then we are going to add about, oh, quarter cup of yellow mustard, just like that. And then we are going to add another quarter cup, but this time it's going to be either Dijon mustard. I didn't have Dijon mustard, so I'm just using honey mustard. Um, I think it will turn out just right there. So that's the next step there. And then we are going to back it up with oh, a little bit of ketchup. We're going to go about two tablespoons of ketchup. There's, there's two tablespoons. Okay, now we're gonna keep heading on with this little sauce here. We're gonna go about, oh, tablespoon of honey. There we go. And we're gonna hit it with a dash or so of Worcestershire sauce. Um, don't go too heavy, just a little touch there. And then I like to, uh, have a little bite to my sauce, a little zing if you'd say. So I'm gonna put a couple teaspoons of horseradish to really clear out the senses and the nasals for you. So that's what I like to do. Um, and then you just get a little bit of a mix there. And you know, if you screw this up, you can always add a little mayo um, if you wanna thicken it up or anything. So don't get too worried about you added a little too much or too little so it can always be repaired you know uh, and this is gonna be really really good so I'm excited and I mean we got some more steps to do but we're getting close guys okay everybody it's time our chicken's been in the fridge for about three hours getting nice and marinated up and now we're gonna go from the marinade we're gonna go from the marinade into the dry seasoning shake it off a little bit into the wet seasoning let it drip off and then back into the dry. So we're gonna get good coating, good coverage, good everything. So we get super crispy chicken. So I'll show you how to do that. Okay, viewers, look at that. Look at those babies. They are gonna crisp up so nice. And we are gonna have some sandwiches to write home about. That's for sure, everybody. Now I'm gonna add the oil here. 
and I'm just gonna fill it to, oh, about a quarter of the way up here on this little fry daddy. And uh, just so we can get everything fried up real nice. And then we're gonna get it. So the temperature I'm looking for for my oil is about 350. And we're climbing, we're about 350. We're ready to throw these in. Okay, we're almost ready to assemble our chicken sandwiches, but first, we're gonna heat up a cast iron and get these brioche buns a little toasty. Okay, it's time to assemble this masterpiece. I'm so excited. All right, we're gonna take a little bit of our sauce we made. Ooh, just line the bottom with that a touch. Line the top of the crispy brioche bun with it. Oh, baby. I am, I am digging this. All right, here's our chicken. Crispy, so good, I'm so pumped. All right, on there like that. How about, ooh, get some pickles on there. And then maybe a little more drizzle, just like that. Oh yeah, that tangy little mayo sauce. Horseradish for a little bit of a kick. I, whew, I am excited. Now, I mean, we're gonna have to try it. Look at that. All right, here it goes. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Well, I thank you guys for watching with me. I hope you enjoyed yourself. If you stay with me this whole time, please comment, like, subscribe. I'd love it. And everybody, stay positive.